This is an examination of sex in the 60s. What is different about this scene? What changes are taking place? They're watching roller derby and then they change the channel. And this is you guys on the floor. They say, oh boy, they're really sick. Those poor kids. I don't think it anymore is going on. I mean, you can only get to a certain point in sex and you can't go any farther, but and changes in the 60s are once again completely different. We're seeing an explosion of sexual expression. Again, not just necessarily the in-bed expression, but in all of our communications media, for instance. And in all of our waking thoughts, and waking music, and our waking reading, there's this tremendous explosion of almost obsession with sex, the genital aspects of sex. For example, you can see it in motion pictures. The changes in public discussion and display of sex are easy to see. What is not so apparent are some of the differences in attitude towards sex on the part of the older generation in contrast to the younger generation. Psychologist Morton Schillinger, executive director of the Lincoln Institute for Psychotherapy, New York. The kids don't go to clubs with semi-nude waitresses. They don't go to playboy clubs, by and large. They don't go to burlesque. It's not a big kick. Them. Now, one thing I'd like to ask you fellows, the younger fellows, on your way down to the, uh, our offices tonight, uh, did your dad tell you anything about what you were going to discuss here with us? Did they mention anything to you? What did your daddy say to you? About the development of babies and the reproduction, and about um, the, how people grow and all that sort of stuff. Okay, did your father say something to you, Jim? <clears throat> well, he didn't tell me anything, but I figured it was going to be about the growth of a baby in the hill. Okay, let me start out by...